What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Allie and welcome to Allie Land. And we actually have an on time, it is on time today. We have an update for my This Is Fantasy project plan. This is a project that I created in collaboration with the Facebook group Fantastic Ladies. And it goes from October 10th or October 11th to October 10th. Um, it kind of falls on National Mythology Creature Day. Um, so I have an update. I have four, four items that are going to be rolling out as I met my goal on them. Um, and then I have a couple that I haven't used at all that I'm going to have to focus on over the next few months. And yeah, obviously, like, I think I was two months late on this. So my goals are to equate for the fact that I was a little late on posting for my own project, which it happens. Um, so I'm just going to kind of roll through everything and I'm just going to kind of go in order for how they're listed. Um, the first creature was Pixie and I had chose my Glam Light Michaela Part 2 Tin Pan Eyeshadow Palette. This is for a category that you have the most of. My goal was to use this palette no left behind, no left behind style. So every shade once and I was able to do that. I also did use this green shade right here and called Soft Center. I actually use this more than once. I think I use this three times total. I do have it a little bit on my eyes today. I really do enjoy this um, palette. It's really pretty. I love green, warm tone, brown palettes. Um, it's typically the color I wear most on my eyes. So this is a roll out. Next was Cyclops, which is a single shadow. I chose my Sydney Grace. Um, this is in the shade Delicate Design. It is just a like foresty metallic green. 15 uses. Um, my goal is 15 uses and I only used it one time. So that's going to be staying in. Next is Unicorn, which is a brand new product. I chose my Pat McGrath Mini Clear Lip Balm. My goal was to finish this and I did finish this. I have no idea how many times I used this. It was at least, I have like 25 ticks down, but I used it after that because I was like, I'm not gonna count this every time I wear this because I just kept it in my pocket, kept it in my purse and just kind of used it until I used it. And then I scraped all the extra stuff out and got it completely empty. So this is a rollout. I was able to meet my goal on that. Then for Fairy, we had a plant or nature themed product. I chose my, my ColourPop um, Pressed Glitter. This is in the shade Fire. I do have this on my eyes today. It is just a really pretty green, blue, pink, metallic -y glitter. My goal is 15 uses and I've only used this one time and that is in today's look. So this is going to be staying in the project. Next was Leviathan, and this is a product you can easily finish or meet your goal on. I chose my Physician's Formula Butter um, Paradise Perfume thing. Um, my goal was to finish it, and I have finished it. This is where I was last month when I brought it into the intro, and as you can see, it is completely gone. I used this a total of 22 times to finish it. There we go. 22 times. So I'm really excited to have that out and get have that added into my empty totals for this year. Next was Mermaid, which is a woman-owned brand. I brought in my Charlotte Tilbury Mini Flawless Filter. Um, this is in the shade Too Fair. My goal is to finish this. I have used this a total of eight times in the last month. I typically try to use this every time I wear makeup or wear my makeup. Well, it's always my makeup, but every time I try, I try to wear makeup. Um, so eight times, this is going to be staying in for a lot longer. I don't see this being finished in the next, this is going to take me like six months. So we'll see. Then for Pegasus, we have a white product. My 111 skin, this is the Nocturnal Eclipse Recovery Cream. Um, my goal is to finish this. I've used this a total of 10 times. I did not check weights or anything before I um, I brought this in, so I don't know the initial starting weight. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about the weights for these items because I'm you're, I'm going to be able to see it as I'm going through it. 
Um, but I've only used this 10 times, so this will be staying in. Then for e.l.f., it's a product that makes you feel beautiful. I brought in my Catrice Golden Coral Blush. This is one of my favorite blushes. My goal is to hit pan. I've only used this four times in the last month. I'm working on a lot of blushes. That's why I'm trying to rotate through them. Um, so this is going to be staying in probably for the whole project. Next is Hydra, which is a product that you keep panning and panning, but you never finish or meet your goal on. I brought in my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. My goal is to finish this. And this is what mine looks like. I have used this eight times in the last month. I've only thing I can tell from sort of from the last month is I have expanded the pan a little bit. Um, there was some extra like smaller thinned out pieces. So I have expanded the pan. Um, my goal by next month is to have the rest of this ring completed, which I think I can do. And then I might consider repressing it in the center so that way I can get the most use out of it. So I've only used this eight times. My goal is to finish. So this will be staying. Then for Loch Ness Monster, which is an embossed or raised printed product, I chose my Editions Formula Diamond Dust Powder. This is like Edward fantasy vampire fantasy this is just a very sheer like shimmery powder you can put all over your face 50 uses for this i have used this a total of nine times in the last month i try to wear this every time i do makeup as well um it's really pretty i actually think because i have a couple of spots where i have some really small side pan i'm not sure if you can tell like up here I have some really small side pans. So I'm actually wondering if I can finish this in this project. So if I hit that 50 goals and I think I can finish it, I might leave this in. Then for uh, Vampire, which is the um, a blood red product, I brought in my ColourPop Harry Potter um, H Potter Liquid Lipstick. I have not used this at all um, since bringing this in. My goal is 15 uses, so I'm definitely going to have to work on that at least a couple of months. Um, I just haven't been in the mood to wear red lips, which is the biggest problem. So this will be staying in. Then for Dragon, which is a large product, I brought in my Hemp's Spun Sugar and Vanilla Bean Lotion. My goal is to finish this. I have used this a total of 21 times. This is where I started last month. And I'm not sure if you could see in the lighting, but I'm about right here. So I, I will mark this and everything. But I have used about half of what was left in the pro in the in the in the bottle, so that's pretty good. I think maybe one more month and I can have this finished between like a month and a half, a month or a month and a half. So this will be staying in. Next is Yeti, which is a winter or snow themed product. I brought in my Lurella um, Diamond Shadow in the shade Icy. I have not used this at all. My goal is ten uses, so this is another one that I'm going to definitely have to work on over the next couple of months to try to get at least a few uses on it through the rest of the year. I just haven't been wearing a lot of cool toned, like silvery bluey type eyeshadows looks. So this is one I would typically wear then. So this will be staying. In. Then for Gorgon, which is a hair care product, I brought in my activated charcoal, uh, bamboo charcoal and purple moonstone mask from Not Your Mother's. This is just a single use hair mask. My goal is to finish this and I have finished this. So this will be rolling out. Okay, so if you notice that there are a little bit of differences, it's because for some reason um, during editing, I noticed that half of my video, or not even half, but like a smaller chunk of my video, the audio was corrupted. Um, I don't know what it is. Something within my software, I'm assuming, within my camera and my mic, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm not sure, um, is causing things to become corrupted or things to glitch during filming. I am filming with my Twitch camera, so it's a streaming camera versus my camera, my DSLR camera, like my, my Canon camera. I like this camera better because I don't have to mess with settings to make sure that I'm in focus and things like that. And I don't have to reattach um, a mic. I can, everything's already hooked up all in one thing. I'm thinking that it's causing some glitches. I may have to look into some new software. So if there's a certain software that you use, please let me know what you're using. Uh, if you're not using an actual DSLR camera for filming, um, let me know in the comments so that maybe I can look into that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to update you on the items that somehow managed to glitch out. And we can get this finished and uploaded and on time tomorrow. So the first item that glitched was 
for Witch or Wizard. This is a magic themed product. I brought in my mini ABH um, Magic Touch Concealer. This is in the shade three. I have found that this is a little too dark for my skin tone at the moment. I'm assuming it's because I'm in my winter tones and I haven't really, I don't know, I never go out in the sun, but I've noticed that it it's not the best. Um, so I've only used this seven times. My goal is to finish this, so this will be staying in. Then for Basilisk, it is a, a dark matte shadow. Um, I brought in my Sydney Grace Single in Simplicity. Um, my goal is 15 uses. I have used this two times, so this will be staying in. Then for Centaur, which is a duo product, I brought in my Sigma Alice in Wonderland Face Duo. Um, my goal is to use each shade five times. I have each, used each shade twice, so this will be staying in. Then for Manticore, which is a product you consider a work of art, I have brought in my Pat McGrath Divine Rose Lip Liner. Um, this is a really pretty lip liner. It's one of my favorites. My goal is to finish this. I have used this seven times, so this will be staying in. Zombie, which is a product that has fallen apart, or falling apart, I brought in my Ulta Gryffindor Mini Palette. I'm using the shade Howler, which falls out of the pan. My goal is to finish this, which is a huge goal. I have used this twice in the last month, so that's kind of a goal that I may not reach. I'm going to focus on finishing all the side pan for the area that I have right now um, and then focus on the rest. I may repress this into a blush with a couple other um, maybe shadows or blushes that I'm not enjoying and then go from there. So that will be staying in. Gnome, I have a gemstone or mineral themed product. I brought in my LA Girl Shade Shifter in the shade Jade. This is a really pretty green to blue duochrome shift. Um, my goal is 10 uses. I have used this once, so this will be staying in. And lastly, for Werewolf, I have brought, which is a celestial themed product, I have brought in my Luxy single in the shade Apollo. This is a glittery, not glittery, it's shimmery, like mint green, really pretty. My goal is 15 uses, and I've only used this once, so this will be staying in as well. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully things aren't too glitchy or messed up throughout the video. I will definitely find out while filming. Um, just in my viewfinder, I've noticed that I'm glitching, so I'm not sure what to do there, but I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But if you enjoyed today's video, give me a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.